At noon, it took six years and $171 million. But the express lanes on 295 from 9B to Butler Boulevard are finally about to open. So what took so long and what are the big changes drivers should expect? Our traffic anchor, Katie Jeffries, got a first hand look. If you've driven on the 295 East Beltway recently, you've probably noticed the express lanes here look pretty much done. And the emails that we've been getting into the newsroom have been asking, when will we finally be able to use these lanes? We got an answer for you, Saturday. As Jacksonville grows, so does its traffic, especially along the 295 Beltway. The new section of express lane stretches from State Road 9B to JTB. But two things to be aware of. First, if you use the 295 southbound express lanes, for now, you will have to exit at 9B. The portion that keeps you on 295 past 9B won't be done for another three to six months. And second, if you use 295 northbound express lanes, at JTB you will encounter three different options. You can go west on JTB, you can go east on JTB using this direct connection ramp here, or you can continue on to 295 north and continue on to your destination. So Hampton Ray with the Florida Department of Transportation says the project went longer than originally planned because FDOT decided to add an additional general use lane for the public. Additional general use lane was open in 2019. So now you have three general use lanes and two express lanes or managed lanes. The lanes will be told during high traffic times of 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Prices will be posted up on the signs as you approach. So if you want to use these lanes during high traffic times, you need to have either a Sun Pass, an Easy Pass, or a Peach Pass. To find out more about these lanes, visit firstcoastnews.com. Reporting along 295, Katie Jeffries, First Coast News, on your side.